Welcome to the Hawthorns as today Albion take on Huddersfield Town as Carlos Corbrand takes on his former side Huddersfield Town for the first time since his departure. It's fair to say they haven't really recovered uh, from Carlos Corbrand leaving last season. As you know, uh, he took them to a playoff final last season as, uh, where they lost at the final hurdle to Nottingham Forest at Wembley. Uh, but, you know, this season they find themselves in a relegation battle with Neil War Warnock now back in charge at Huddersfield Town. I thought we'd seen his last ever game when he uh, stepped down from the Middlesbrough job uh, after uh, they played at the Hawthorns last season. But no, of course, he's back in uh, management. It seems like as if he never wants to uh, retire. But after winning his first game against the Blues, Huddersfield's poor form has continued under Warnock as they are winless in the last three. But Albion are coming off a scrappy but very important win in midweek against Wigan at the Hawthorns here. And I do want to wish uh, Grady Diangana all the best as it was confirmed uh, early on this week that he will be out for the remainder of the season due to a foot injury, I think. But the Hawthorns has turned into a little bit of a fortress in recent times as Albion have won nine out of their 11 games under Carlos Corbrand at the Hawthorns, only losing one of those games. So hopefully that continues today. But a big talking point going into today's game uh, is the protest uh, that's been organised by uh, the fan group Action for Albion. Uh, the protest starts at 2.15 outside West Brom Dartmouth uh, Cricket Club and uh, Albion fans are marching uh, to the ground in protest against our Albion owner Gooch Chan Lai. So I'm going to head over there now and see what's going on. So I'm here with Rocco, Jackson and Alex. What's your score prediction for today? 2-1 uh, to Albion. 2-1 Albion. 2-0 West Brom. And who's going to score the goal? goal? DK and... Swift. Um, Wally and Swift. DK and Swift. Give us a come on you baggies. Come on you baggies. Come on baggies. 
Come on, you buggies! Well, we're here with Anthony. Uh, you might recognise him. We're in a bit of a regular now. Uh, what is your score prediction for today? 3 0 West Brom. And who do you think is going to score the goal? DK and. Maybe. Maybe Ockerson. Yeah, nice one. And give me a come on, you baggies. Come on, you baggies. Don't go down. So I'm here with Dean, a big Albion fan. Uh, you was at the protest today. What do you think of it? I have to say, we were there by accident, it was just timing, yeah. but we were glad to stand there. We were very impressed by the amount of people that were there at the protest. Yeah. It was very vociferous, and it's needed, because the club could be falling down a pit. Yeah. If we don't get this owner out, he's, he's already taken loans out, but he's, it seems to me he's never going to pay back. No, yeah. And we, we've got this MSD Holdings debt hanging over the club. And we are at risk of losing the ground, the ground that we've owned for 123 years. Yeah. There'll be no money next season, no parachute money. Seven million needed to be paid to MSD Holdings. So where's the money going to come from for player investment? No investment in the club. Most clubs in the uh, championship are funded by their owners. Yeah. We, we won't be. No investment from Lie, So. It's a frightening scenario and one that I fear, you know, is coming down. And yeah. the fans need to be aware of this. They need to not be apathetic, joining the protests that took part today and make it part of a rolling campaign to hopefully force the hand of this owner. Yeah. That's all I have to say. And we've uh, got Huddersfield Town today, Carlos Cole, Rand's old club. What is the score prediction? Well, of course, it's a critical game, isn't it? Yeah. And we need to win. I don't mind how we do it. It was an ugly win the other night against Wigan. Yeah. But all it's about now is the results. We really need to try and find a way to get into those playoffs. Yeah. It might be towards the end of the season. I don't care how it happens, but as long as we get in those playoffs, then hopefully we can get back to the Premier League and start earning that money again. Cheers, mate, and all give right. me a comment, you baggy. Yeah, and you too. Up the Albion. So, uh, finally in the ground now. Um, very peaceful protest, very well done from all the Albion fans turned out in their numbers. Uh, team news is out, uh, only one change from uh, Tuesday's win against Wigan. Adam reaching for Markle Brighton. Hopefully the baggies can get all three points. Penalty Albion, I think Townsend gets taken down in the box. Looks like John Swift is safe. Half an hour on the clock.
One nil Albion, Swift converts from the spot. Had to be patient in this first uh, 30 minutes or so. Very similar to Tuesday night. Um, Huddersfield put like 10 men behind the, uh, the ball. It's been hard as to break them down, but uh, an early goal is crucial for the Albion. Deserved it, it's been all Albion so far, really. Hopefully we can push on now. Half time, uh, 1 0 Albion. Very similar half to the first half on Tuesday evening, actually. Albion's been patient, kept, uh, had the majority of the ball, but uh, uh, also got that all important goal. The tempo of the game has been quite slow, and Huddersfield Town haven't really tested Albion at all. Uh, they had one corner, it looks like they could be quite dangerous uh, from set pieces. But other than that, it's been all Albion. Um, it's been quite difficult to break them down at times, you know. They've got 10 men behind the ball. Uh, in the middle of the park, it's very like tight. A lot, a lot of men uh, in the same sort of area. Uh, it's Huddersfield Town's half. It's all very hard to try to find space when Albion go forward. But you know what? I can't really ask uh, for much more in the first half, really. Albion winning, uh, having the majority of the ball and definitely dominating play. I'd quite like to see us score a few more goals though today. Let's hope we can do in the second half. Beneficiaries! <laughs> Seven minutes added on time here at the Hawthorns. Still 1 0 Albion. Huddersfield Town have been wasting a lot of time this game. So uh, full time, 1-0 uh, Albion, a very similar game to uh, Tuesday's game against Wigan Athletic. You know, today at Huddersfield Town stuck 10 men behind the ball and didn't give me any fear going forward. The tempo of the game was very slow today as well, uh, mainly due to the opposition, making it hard for the Albion to move the ball quickly and move the ball forward into dangerous positions. 
But you have got to win these games. At the start of the week, I wanted six points from these two games. And that's exactly what we've got. Uh, we're now only three points away from the playoffs. And our injured players are starting to come back into the matchday squad again. I thought John Swift ran the show today. He was involved in everything positive for the Albion going forward. And OK, Koslu and Jason Malumbi formed that dream partnership in midfield once again. Another clean sheet for Josh Griffiths in goal as well. Uh, he came out off his line quite well today, caught some really good balls and showed uh, a great deal of bravery today. You know, I wasn't sure about him at first, uh, but he is starting to show me that he is a quality keeper at this level of football. A great protest from all the Albion fans as well, proper, properly done. And well done to Alistair and all the people at Action for Albion who are working very hard to uh, re restore some solid ownership at our football club. You know, the Albion fans showed up in their numbers today and uh, protested uh, peacefully, but definitely made their voices uh, heard. Cheers to everyone who came up to me for an interview as well. I thought you all gave great interviews. If you want to be, if you want to have an interview on my channel uh, in the next home game against Millwall, make sure to come up to me. I sit in the Woodman Corner, and uh, uh, I'll definitely get you on the channel. But thank you all for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Up the Albion.